we live in the age of smart homes. Oh, we are living in the future, according to the Jetsons, <laughs> where we have everything connected to each other. We're able to control appliances, lights, whatever, the door even from far away to keep us safer and happier. Or is it, uh, according <laughs> dun, dun, dun. to some white hat hackers, it might not be as secure as you think. Let's take a look. Okay, this attack involves a homeowner who has installed a smart lock on their front door and is using a battery monitor app to monitor battery levels. However, I have written this app um, and I've encoded malicious instructions in it to send me an SMS message whenever the user uh, programs a pin code. This will let me enter the home whenever I want. So I've received a SMS telling me the code the user has just programmed, and I'm just going to walk over to the home and unlock the door. So as you can see, the bolt turns and I can unlock the door. Yeah, so this is uh, the Samsung SmartThing system, which is very popular because it's accessible, it's not too expensive, you can use this to seemingly protect your house at a, an advanced level. Uh, but it looks like the Internet of Things is highly hackable at this point. Yeah, it, that was scary. The yeah. way that he, uh, the scare, <laughs> my heart dropped when he was like, uh, I built this app. I was like, you built this? Yeah, and he won't, people he, build apps. And he's not the only one who knows how, well, it just goes to show you how, uh, how easy it is to circumvent the protections mm -hmm. that were put on by a major corporation. I love Samsung. I have a Samsung phone. I have a Samsung washer and dryer. Samsung. Well, get ready for your washer and dryer to get hacked, to <laughs> get hacked and race yes. each other down the hall. No, I don't know. Uh, but that did show. This is, by the way, from uh, the University of Michigan, and that researcher uh, was leading the project. He he did build his own uh, malicious app, and then Samsung didn't respond to this by saying, "Oh well, if you don't obey our parameters, and if you build these apps, you know you're you're operating outside of us," which does sound a little bit like not a problem, uh, which is a little bit worrisome at this point. I mean, as we develop more into building out the Internet of Things, which is becoming larger and larger mm -hmm. in terms of kitchen gadgets, garage, front door, mm -hmm. lighting grid. Uh, ultimately, our security, it, it needs to develop security along, its own security along with it. Yeah. And we're not there yet. No, clearly. And I'm, I'm happy that these white hats did show this. This is something that needs to be fixed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I look at um, what I would want in my home. Like, we just, my roommate and I, we just installed Nest mm -hmm. in there where oh. you can, so we can operate, like, our temperature and, you know, like, smoke alarms and little gas alerts, like, from our phone. Um, and something as basic as that, you're just you're like, man, if someone really wants to mess with you, mm -hmm. they can get in there. Yeah. And then there's also, um, you know, behind every machine is a human being. So there's also the question of what is happening with all of this data. Like, if I were George Clooney, would I smarten up my entire house? Because what about the disgruntled IT person operating mm -hmm. behind there who's about to, who's about to quit? collect his unemployment, you know, and 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 just decides to, to mess with me, you know, mm -hmm. didn't like my last movie, <laughs> and decides what? to screw with my house and my washer and you dryer and my garage, right? Yeah. The, the researchers in this particular project were able to open locks, uh, change vacation settings in a smart home, Crazy. Uh, set off the fire alarm with fa false messages. So, I mean, you could even oh, disable the fire easy. alarm. There's, there's a lot of potential to do... Uh, malfeasance. Yeah, I damage. wanted to think of a smaller word, but yeah, damage to a home Bad just assery. through this way. Small words, yeah. We had do things. Yeah, no good <laughs> stuff. We got this. Yeah, so yeah, we got this. the lesson here is uh, this Samsung smart home and possibly other smart home systems are currently still full of security holes that need to be addressed, and maybe you should be aware of this before you. Uh, no. Put Before, a nest in your house. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Get on it, nest. Uh, get on it, everyone, really. Yeah, really. Because w uh, we've seen this before. This is by far not the only instance, no. which is that we have the Internet of Things being built up, but they're all extremely hackable. I mean, we did do a story before about an electronic kettle that had Wi-Fi settings that was easily broken into, and through that was able to uh, access a lot of the secure information that was going on over the Wi-Fi. You're kidding. It's in the that, house? Yeah. It's easy. Whoa. So we need to be able to, we need to treat the smart kettle like we would treat any other 
you know, router or something important that needs to be secured, needs to be encrypted, and it's not there at that point. Yeah. So please be aware of that when you're installing things in your house. And kettles, I'm sorry I told all wash, you hackers. No, they already know. Uh, Way so, ahead of us. We're, we're getting hacked right now. Well, we, we, <laughs> no. it's, it's time to work on security. Yes. It, it's, it's time to make sure all of our bases are covered, basically. Audience, do you have any smart devices in your home, your, your own Internet of Things, uh, that could be exploited? Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.